Today I want to show you on how to do upgrades on your HP Stream Mini. Let's take a look at it. This is one of the best mini PC that I have bought. It is actually pretty cheap. It is less than $100 when I bought it. It has all the ports that is needed, which is quite cool. Opening up is pretty easy. Opening the rubber piece at the bottom of the PC Get a screwdriver and unscrew. There is three of them. One, two, three. Once you are done, just open up the cover easily and put it aside. As you can see, there is a metal plate which you need to unscrew as well. This metal plate will be used to hold your additional hard drive or SSD, which I will show you later. The Stream Mini comes with 32GB of storage, which I personally think is insufficient. I have mine upgraded to 128GB. Before doing the upgrade of the SSD, please make sure you have upgraded it to Windows 10 already. It defaults comes with Windows 8.1. Once you completed the upgrade, you can clean install Windows 10 to your Stream Mini and to your new SSD at any time. If you look at the metal plate, the hard disk would be slot in here. It should be screwed in here with these four holes. This is the internal of the HP Stream Mini. This place is for the RAM and this is for the upgraded M.2 SSD. Let us take a closer look. I will leave links below on where to get the SSD as well as the RAM. This is how you remove the RAM. Putting it back, make sure it is slotted nicely before pushing it down. It is not done nicely. Let's do it again. Now it's tightly in. Let's move on to the RAM upgrades. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is <clears throat> to upgrade the RAM. So you can see that I bought this 8 data RAM, 4 gig 8 data RAM. So um, if you guys want the same one, I'll leave a link below for you guys to see. Where they are bought, bought it from, so just pick up the RAM and just slot in the RAM to the additional RAM slot, which is pretty easy. Make sure that it's put in properly and just press it in, right? Okay, yeah, there's some disturbance there, so um, let, let's just slot in the second drive, uh, second memory stick, and we are done on the upgrades for the memory side. Okay, so the next thing that we will be doing would be purchasing this cable if you want to put in additional hard drive. So you can see this cable, it's pretty neat. Uh, I'll leave a link below for you to see where they buy it from. And this is the drive that I want to add into the Stream Mini. So you can see this is the drive, uh, the additional hard drive that I have. So what needs to be done now is to uh, make sure that drive is properly slotted in the metal plate as we can see it's properly slotted this one is big. I don't think it's this way um, so it should be another way the other side um, so that we can screw the screw back in place so uh, to get it yeah this should be the proper place for the hard drive see all the four screws are there so you just need to get the four screws and screw in the hard drive yep that's about it so let's just leave it aside if you look at it this SATA port basically be pushed into the drive itself yeah you just push it in and be done right so it's that simple so that's about the port first so 
that we can actually see where we want to insert the cable into on the motherboard of Stream Mini. So before we do that, there would be some things that we need to do, right? So I'm looking at the port now, and if you want to put it in, um, you see that is the that is the slot where right, to put in the ribbon cable. So you can see now there's a two protruding sides where we need to cut it off in order for us to insert that in, right? So after cutting off that, how it looks like. So now we will go ahead and install this cable into onto the motherboard. So here we go. So you just need to basically pull up the pull up the switch, and this is how it looks like now. You need to slot in in this same direction that I'm doing. So what you need to do now is just to pull up that thing and just push in the ribbon cable and push in the slot. Yeah, so make sure it's tightly linked to the cable. Yep. Okay, so it's tightly holding. Tightly held to the cable. So now we are done. So what we need to do now is to connect the SATA port. And yeah, there we go. We have the hard disk ready and um, just screw back the metal plate with the screwdriver and of course if my son is going to give me that back so uh, once we are in place you can just push in the cable in between the hard disk and the motherboard or you can make it go around the metal plate I mean that's completely up to you so once I get the screwdriver, then we need to screw back the metal plate. So just screw back the four screws. And I, I did have some help there, you see. You can see. <laughs> My son is trying to help me screw back the metal plate. Which is pretty cute, right? So um, so just go ahead and screw back all the screws on the metal plate. We are almost there. So just bear with me for a while. So once the yeah, so just screw on the other two. Screws that we need. Okay, and we are done, right? So once that is screwed back, we can actually put it back the cover of the Stream Mini. So just make sure you put it correctly. Once it's in, then yeah, just make sure it's tightly in and just screw back the remaining three screws for the Stream Mini. And we will check out once the upgrade is done, whether the memory upgrade is done, and as well as the hard disk upgrades are uh, effective once we put it back into the Stream Mini. Let's screw back the remaining three screws. They're good to go. One, two. And it's actually pretty simple for the upgrades to happen. I mean, this is not a very hard thing to do. I mean, this is what I mean, like quite an easy upgrade as well. And I think it's quite worthwhile to have a media to make this as a media player. But if you don't have sufficient space, it's useless. So uh, additional hard drive. Would uh, there will be a link below on where to get the cable itself, so uh, just refer to it if you want to do the same. And yeah, and we are done. So let's check out the internals. Okay, so as you can see now, we can open up this PC, properties, and uh, as you can see now, we have 8 gigs of RAM after the updates. Close it back, then we open up this PC again. Manage, and um, if we go into the, uh, I mean, like this management, you should be able to see that we have the SSD as well as the hard drive working inside. So we have two drives now, and that is a very good thing. So we have an HNO storage drive now for our media player, HP Stream Mini.
Thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. And do subscribe for future updates. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.